Get it out of your system now. You beat me to it. <laughs> God damn. I've been staying in my head for the past five minutes. I'm not going to do it. Not going to end the song. Not going to do it. Nope. Not going to do it. Mike starts saying, damn it. In 2010, a man and his crew started a podcast on the internet, but they were distracted by real life for a challenge they couldn't commit it to. This crew promptly escaped from real life to the internet. Today, still wanted by real life, they survive as podcasters of fortune. If you are bored, if nothing else can excite you, and if you can find them, maybe you can listen to Attack of the Awesome. Hello and welcome to Attack of the Awesome Podcast, where we make nerdy and geeky look awesome. I'm your host, Moonlight Mike, and along with me are my awesome co-host, Gomer. Hello, peoples! How is everybody tonight? And how is your mother tonight? <laughs> you need to answer me. I'm just fine, Gomer. Thanks for asking. No one's answering, Gomer. Yeah, nobody's answering. It's just what about us. your mother? Nobody, she's actually in the other room. <clears throat> Never mind, let's move it on. And Pugsley. Hi, peoples. And last but not least, the Rosenhacker. Why am I always last? I don't know. I, maybe Cause I'll switch. Because you're the kid. Because you're the, you're the kid of the podcast. <clears throat> sort of. All right. <laughs> Anyways, we got a guest of awesome on this awesome, awesome episode. And... He is the comic book lord of the internets. He is Linkara, also known as Lewis Lovehog. Give it up for Linkara. Yay. Uh, Yay. Unfortunately, I'm not talking to you people until the check clears. Check? What? Oh, well then. <laughs> what, check? what is this check you speak of? What check you speak of? This is a non-profit we'll, podcast. We'll pay, you in, we'll pay you in gum. we pay you in gum. Yeah, oh, I go. see. Well, bye. There you go. What? Where are you going? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Uh. Anyways, let's just hop into the podcast. Uh, first segment of the podcast is what we call Around the Web, where we talk about what we've seen on the internet, when it's whether it's a video, picture, article, or whatever. So, who wants to start things off on this round robin of uh, Around the Web? Hmm. That is a good question. I, I guess I will. Um... And you, and as usual, I'm going to promote. I'm actually going to promote two things from my own site. Uh, first one, I just uploaded a little experimental thing that I wanted to try out, see if people like. It's called 20 Minutes of Uncut Random. It's up on my site, rtgomer.wordpress.com. And I also need to pimp out my home gal, Lacey Green, with her new Sex Plus video yeah. that also went up today, called Inspiration. Check it out. You like it. Okay. Good self-promotion there. I said go next because I found this awesome thing on Stumble. And it, it, it's like some kind of... Um, well, basically what you do is you click... The, there's a little side with little like boxes on them. You click that and then noise happens and it's really cool. Uh-oh. Okay. But, so you click it, random noise happens. <laughs> yes. It's it, it's really cool once you figure out what the hell is going on. Because when I saw it, I was like, I don't know what this is. This is boring. Oh wait, it makes noise. I'm gonna play with this now. So I just started playing with the one thing. I'm like this is so cool. This is kind of like me with my uh, my new soundboard on my iPod. Huh? And then there are like other ones that make other noises. And yeah, it's really cool. <laughs> yes, I've I've regressed back to the early 2000s when I discovered soundboards and just would sit there for hours just. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good days, good times. Mm -hmm. Well, I shall go next. Uh, 
We everybody's probably seen the uh, the Dark Knight Rises tra trailer, but I can't talk. People have seen the new the Dark Dark Knight Rises trailer, and uh, there's a trailer mm -hmm. mashup on YouTube where they mash the audio from the Dark Knight Rises trailer with the visuals of the Lion King trailer. And it matches so well. It's like unbelievable when you watch it. I mean, oh my god. Wow. That is something that's something I will have to definitely check out. It is uh, called The Lion King Rises. On YouTube. Nice. Lion King Rises And Roars. Yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, as for mine, uh, this one, this is one I found from uh, Todd in the Shadows. Uh, he tweeted this about like three hours ago, I'd say. Uh, from his newest episode, uh, someone took the line for, that Kanye West said, "Don't let me get in my zone," and made a little flash game out of that. You can find it at KanyeZone.net, I believe. Um, actually, let me check that. Yes, KanyeZone.com. There, there is a game base. Uh. Do what I love about Sorry, the somebody, zone somebody thing in the is that I've been watching a lot of eighteen episodes recently. So every time they talk about the about Kanye going into his zone, I just, I just think of like uh, them telling Hannibal's he's getting into the jazz. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. And uh. Hell, I might as well ask. Linkara, do you have you have you seen anything around the web? Uh you guys well actually yes, Spoony tweeted this recently. Uh it's a video, quite po very amusing, very funny. I kinda wish a real movie was being made out of this. It's uh George Lucas Strikes Back. Oh, oh I saw that. It's a, oh, I saw it's that. a fake it, it's a fake trailer. For a for a movie where it turns out George Lucas was abducted shortly after making Return of the Jedi, and ever since then, uh, uh, like there's like some imposter who's been playing him, and he's now escaped and is going to get revenge. <laughs> wow. <laughs> George Lucas, your movies have made millions of dollars. You king of Hollywood. What I want to know is, what is next for George Lucas? I'm going to Disneyland. <laughs> and then I'm building a ride. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Marshmallow. What I really want to do is start making smaller, more personal films. Be careful, George. What? George, what's going on? Oh, my God. <laughs> What's going on? Where am I? Let me out of here. Let me out of here. George Lucas's Star Wars prequels have received terrible reviews from the critics and sparked rage amongst the Star Wars fan base. That's not me. That's impossible. Hollywood insiders are questioning whether George Lucas has become totally lame. No! When I heard about midichlorians, only one thought kept me going. Find the man who made the prequels and destroy him. The game had changed in 20 years. I'm a businessman on my cell phone! Cell phone? So you're saying the guy shot the whole thing on green screen, John Williams? This was a systematic takedown. The corruption is deeper than anyone can imagine. I saw them do the same thing to Brett Favre. <laughs> Brett Favre? This is going to require a team of old friends. Princess Leia. Short round. Okie dokie, Mr. Lucas. And Chewie. <laughs> Georgie boy has escaped. I suspect we might be able to do something about this. You suck on a half foot. They're gonna come at you from all angles, George. Spielberg, when they struck me down, I became more powerful than they could possibly imagine. Give me the answer, you bastard. How do you 
took down an empire like that. You shoot first. I like the new Indiana Jones movie. Welcome to the Temple of Doom! Damn! I can't get past the firewall! Oh no! Fear leads to anger. Shoot him. He's the imposter. Anger leads to hate. Jesus Christ, they're just movies. Hate leads to an ass kicking. I'm not afraid. You will be. Please, I got a wife and kids. It's okay, George. Even good directors make bombs once in a while. Misa? The mind go boom. I should have known it was you, Spock. Some great one-liners yes. with uh, with George going like, uh, <laughs> he's talking to Spielberg. And it, God damn it! He's talking to Spielberg. Or it is like you don't know how powerful they really become. They could they could take you down, George. George replies, Stephen. When they struck me down, I became more powerful than they could possibly imagine. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it, it's really like action movie revenge thing. It's glorious. Kill Lucas. No, no, we don't want to kill him. We just want him to stop making movies. Yes. Exactly. Or find the real George Lucas. Yeah, where the hell did he go? Yeah, that's the one works. Can you see this one picture? It was of George Lucas coming out of the theater after seeing Avatar. And then the next next scene, you see he has like this a light, ah, lightsaber. And then... You, it just like shows him in a silhouette of him holding it like to his chest, about to kill himself with it. Jeez. It's like the worst but best picture ever. Actually, here's a comic or something. That, uh, yep. Here you are, and you are. Hmm? Yes, that's the picture. Ah. It's, it's, <laughs> it, it's horrible. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> ah, hilarious, hilarious. Ouch. Wow. That looks a little painful. <laughs> yep. And that concludes the well, Around the Carrie World. Carrie Lightning were around originally. <laughs> <laughs> How did that thing not go off in his pocket? <laughs> yeah, good question. I have no idea. That's a very good question. You think cell phones in movies were bad? Wait till you see a lightsaber in a movie. <laughs> 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 go blind, like god damn it, that's too painful. There. That is the around the web segment, and we hop into the next one known as Attack of the News, where we talk about news in respective fields of movies, music, video games, and anything random and nerdy from the blog known as toplessrobot.com. So who wants to start the round robin of the news? I think I will, mainly because I'm getting mine up, like, really quickly. <laughs> uh, okay, this then. had a couple of weeks to gather a few of these, so, so, so hopefully, hopefully, uh, well, some of you probably have heard about this one. A new Super Nintendo, yes, Super Nintendo, game is in development for 2013. For those folks out there who can still lay a hands on a working Super Nintendo system, good news, there's a new game slated to come your way next year. Development, publishing, and production company Super Fight Fighter Team are calling Nightmare Busters a masterful run and gun game for the Super Nintendo, Super Famicom, and all compatible video game systems. The last new Super NES game released in the United States was a fraud remake in 1998, almost 14 years ago. Very few details <laughs> about Nightmare right Busters are as yet available. Yes, except that the pre-order price is $60 plus shipping, and it's expected to ship in 2013. However, the pre-orders are limited to 600 copies at this point. Wow. Yeah. Yes. It builds your hopes up and crush them terribly. It's like, hey, yeah, I'm sorry, you I'm want to childhood? Up. Yeah, yeah, here's a game. Oh, no, but it's like $600. Good luck buying it. <laughs> well, no, not I'm sorry, I'm still stuck on the, uh, the last Super Nintendo game was 1998 and a Frogger remake? Really? <laughs> I know. I have no reason to do that. <laughs> oh, why not? 
Why not? Uh, now I want to see somebody make a brand new Atari game. That that would get headlines. Holy shit! <laughs> but then again, does anybody have a working Atari still? I know I don't. Wish I, I did. don't even know if I own an Atari anymore. If, even if I ever did. <laughs> I know a retro game store or uh, two. I could get one if I really wanted one. There we go. Uh, the other one. Uh, this other one I found involves. Okay, you, we all know that we has motion con sensor controls and everything. And every now and then, you know, it, it it kind of has issues or whatever. Well, firefighters who believe an eight-year-old boy was burnt after using candles to make a games console work not game console, games console, have issued a safety warning. Because the kid, his uh, Wii sensor bar was messed up, so he tried to use the candle to uh, try and get it to that work again, is, and he burned himself. i that, that actually works. Yeah. Well, it works, yeah. But, the you thing know, is, the kid you apparently use, did like, it wrong and he burned himself. For... Wait, yes. what was this kid trying to do? And he's suing, isn't he? Um, well, he's like nine, so... The story. Yeah. Wait, wait, what Basically, did the, the whole thing is, exactly? Uh, if your he Wii sensor bar is uh, broken... Hmm? Yeah, if the Wii sensor bar is broken, you can use, like, a candle or some kind of light or flame or whatever, and it'll... Two candles, actually. It'll get it working. Wor ah, excuse me, working again. So, yeah. and this kid tried it, and apparently he or did something wrong, burned place. himself. Mm -hmm. uh, it's always the one that ruins it for everybody else. Exactly. Yeah, yes. Now no one's going to do this ever again. No. Actually. At least not in England. Because that's... Because I got this off of the BBC. Or actually... No, Wales. Not England. Wales. Oh. It's kind of Welsh. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? No. <laughs> God damn it, Welshie. Welshie! <laughs> Full is <fall. laughs> Damn you. Uh, I think we're just going to blame Welshie on that one. And that is all the news I have for this week. All right. And I figure we go to the same order as the last segment. So, Pugsley, you can go next. I don't have anything yet to get me. Can I go then? Go ahead. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> okay, first up in animation news. Do anyone who watches the new Thundercats, Season 2 is coming out very soon. In fact, March 24th. So, look out for that. Next up. Um, let's see. What was it? Um, oh, yeah. Also in cartoon news, there is a new pr uh, new premiere trailer for uh, Avatar The Legend of Korra. So, if you're an Avatar fan, go watch it. And, hmm, let's see, what else is there? Um, oh, yes. No. no. Um, John Carter stuff. Give me one moment. Oh, yes. And for... Uh, for gamers who, um, who, for stuff that Gomer didn't cover, Assassin's Creed 3 was announced. It's about a, a Native, Native American fa assassin during the American Revolution. Oh, Should be interesting. what? Huh. That's yeah. just, oh my god. Oh boy. It's a, it looks that so amazing, honestly. For those I interested, here is the has announcement has their trailer. stores covered with advertisements. I'm not even kidding, I watched a yeah. GameStop first, three little, little, uh, Stand things I see here. Just that's Assassin's Creed, uh, whatever the hell the name is for this one is now. Three of them in a row for no real reason other than promotion. I didn't know it was about a, a Native American assassin. Like, oh my God, whoa, hi there. Yeah, I want this game now. Yeah, he has a tomahawk in the shape of the Assassin's Creed symbol. <laughs> okay. And Fine. finally, for uh, DVD collectors, there is now the Harry Potter 30 31 disc collector set. Holy shit. How many? Super 31. 31. Mm -hmm. 31. Holy contains, fuck. Sweet, merciful, generous. Contains 18 movie discs. It contains 18 movie discs and 13 special feature discs, including memorabilia items, concept up art, a map of Hogwarts, and much more. Holy shit. And that's, that's, not, that's not including the awesome packaging. Here's the kicker, though. Five hundred dollars. Woo, boy! How, however, mm -hmm. it's three hundred fifty dollars at Amazon. Oh. Uh huh. Wow, wow. that's a low price. Three dollars cheaper, but still. <laughs> Holy shit! 
And this is how many? 31 in all? Yep. You said, yep. right? Yeah. 31 oh, discs. 18 of which are just the movies. Holy moly. Wow. Comes with, uh, I'm glad this is Harry Potter. Oh, in 2D and they release something like this... Oh, sorry. I'm oh, sorry, go ahead. It's the last two, 2D and 3D, and the first two movies have both the theater version and extended cuts. Huh. Yeah, I'm glad this is Harry Potter doing this, because if they do something like this concerning, oh, I don't know, another certain series involving sparklies and vampires that mm. I really don't want to mention the name of, yeah, people would probably want to, oh, there's not enough content in the heavens of new content. ones. Gilmer, there's not enough content in Twilight for them to even try this. Yeah. Good point. Okay. <laughs> Good you point. can say the name. So, it's not that big of a deal. Nobody cares. Oh, yes, okay. and we have a special comic story for our guest today. Apparently, Ooh. Spider-Man has sold out even more so. Spider-Man nail polish. Huh? <laughs> there is now Spider-Man nail polish. In the, Brit in the colors, quote... Why does the guy Webber always have so many money problems when he, when, his, when, it, when he has himself plastered on so many products? The merchandising is, is, no is all over the roof, and yet the man always is still living with his aunt. I don't get it. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe he just doesn't want to take a gamble by living on his own. I don't know. Speaking of gambling, that's my theory. Aunt May has a gambling addiction. <laughs> <laughs> I think I say Spider-Man. But yes, the, uh, it comes in the, the, uh, the following colors. Your web or mine, pink. Into the night, blue. Call me Gwen Ever, orange. Just spotted the lizard green. My boyfriend scales walls white, and number one nemesis gray. No. Wow. Those wait, names. Wait, wait. The orange one was again? The orange one is Gwen call ever? me Gwen ever. Gwen ever. Oh. 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 That hurt. I'm sorry, but uh, that that that's a stu it's a very silly pun. But I'm more on the number one enemy or nemesis is gray. <laughs> yep. Yes, what? who could they be referring to? I don't know. Exactly that one's going to use. Gray uh, would it's, be it's like, like a rhino. <laughs> I, think, uh, no, I think they were for uh, Venom. That would have been but Venom is black at it. and white. There is not gray in there. <laughs> yeah. I, even you I, not, not, not a big a comic Venom, book. You do gray. <laughs> Yeah, even I, I'm not a big it's comic book yeah. person, but I know enough about Venom to know that Gray? He was what? Gray. What gray. He was black gray. and white. I even think then, he's even black, one of the two. I'm in the, minor I'm in the minority opinion that Venom is his best enemy and his you know, greatest enemy. Most people assume it's Green Goblin. Mm -hmm. So I'm just confused there. <laughs> All right, forgot my toy news. Um, For Firefly Flans, did I say Firefly Flans? Flans? Yep. Yeah, you Firefly did. fans so made the same mistake Detroit did. Uh, you can now purchase a replica of Mal's gun for 80 bucks. <gasps> yeah, I read that. I've seen that. And for Doctor Who fans, there's now an Amy Pond action figure. Ah, uh, yes. Nice. The very tiny fun. TARDIS. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and for those who read the comic Lock and Key, they're now making a uh, card game. Ah. Uh. Huh. What bugs me most about this is the Amy Pond action figure is $190. Holy crap. How big Jesus. an action figure? 12 inches. Hmm. 12 inches. 90 bucks. Huh? Better be a damn good made action figure. It's very detailed, actually. Well, she's already mm -hmm. ordered three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah he's, or, he's ordered a giant deluxe edition. <laughs> no, 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 he built that one himself already. Made like a huge statue of it. <laughs> Just took pieces of her hair. His shrine. <laughs> yes. Oh, he has a shrine. That's not the one yeah. I want to go in. Oh, wouldn't you have a shrine if you want? If you were that dedicated a fan? Yeah. True. Uh, Everyone has a shrine, whether in physical form or in their mind. <laughs> because yeah. they, do, they, they don't have the money to support a shrine. 
Anything else, Rosen? Um, no, that should be it. Okay, thank you. And lastly, we'll I'm gonna go into the movie news, and it's got some superhero-related right. stuff. I have a story now. I totally heard Mike. Or you can say it now quickly. Okay. Um, Bruce Springsteen is doing concerts and whatnots after Clarence Clemens' death, like his first show since then, I think, says MSN. Although I'm pretty sure he did something before this, so I really don't know what they're talking about. But anyway. (laughs) The big boss. boss is coming back again, huh? The boss in concert. Buy your tickets now. He he went to the Apollo um, in Harlem, New York on Friday Uh to commemorate Sirius XM Radio's 10th birthday. Ah, okay. Cool. Cool, cool. Alright, here we go. Some superhero movie-related stuff. Alright, first off, Joss Wheaton... Is going to uh, we done, we done. We yeah. poor your enunciation is cool. By the it's way, not related to Will. Shut up. <laughs> we done. <laughs> we done says we'll see the Avengers through Captain America's eyes. Works for me. That better. Yeah. So yeah. he pretty much says I set out with a. A very simple problem. There's there's no reason for these people to be in the same movie. So that's what my movie has to be about. So much of the movie takes place from Steve Rogers' perspective, since he's the guy who just woke up and sees this weird-ass world and everyone else is, has been living in it. Makes sense. It's good. It allows Pete... It allow, it's a great viewpoint uh, uh, character kind of thing, because if people for some reason, have not seen Iron Man or Thor or any of the other movies that allows, you know, the viewers to uh, get acclimated to the universe. Yes, yes, indeed. So I was excited to see that. And the second one is, uh, okay, let me just set up the story here. A while ago, in 2000, Nicolas Cage owned the copy of Action Comics number one, featuring the first appearance of Superman. And... It was stolen from the actor. The mint condition issue. I read it every night. <laughs> the mint con- condition <laughs> issue was worth up to 1.5 million. Was missing until 2011 when the comic was found in an abandoned storage locker in San Fernando Valley. Now, Liongate plans to make a movie based on that concept. The, the concept that, that someone stole a copy of Action Comics number one from Nicolas Cage? Yes. Is Nick Cage, does oh Cage God, play Nicolas Cage? Does uh-huh. Nick Cage play himself? Well, <laughs> unfortunately, no. I read about this. Yeah, they nope. they want him to play the part, but they think they won't get him to play the part, so they have to find somebody that's crazy <sighs> enough to play the part. Why wouldn't nice. he play himself? It's, Cage, be, it's, like... an easy, it's an easy acting gig. He could call upon it on his... Awesomeness of Nick Cage. Nobody <laughs> plays Nick Cage. Nick Cage. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> the, playing himself. I mean, the story would feature a group of nerds who attempt to steal Cage's copy of Action Number One. That's the story, which is like huh. okay, but it's it, but it's turn this into a movie. Play Nick Cage then, if you, if not Nick Cage himself. But see, nerds. But right now, it's at the yeah. script stage with no other cast or director attached yet, so... Huh. I'm just... Like, what? Did, did we notice the comment as of John Travolta as Nick Cage yet? Ah. Because ah. Keanu Re- just said that, and it's the funniest thing ever. Okay, okay, okay. I've got to share this. Burned! How'd it get burned? <laughs> <laughs> well, you were uh, still learning to okay. spell your name. <laughs> oh. Oh. Hey, Speaking of which, oh. let me go to my last article, and this should intrigue Linkata Vidi. So, Young Blood live action movie apparently moving forward according to La Liefeld. 
Rob. Blah Fleck. blah Rob blah. Fleck. It's been saying it's been he's been saying it's been moving <laughs> forward for the last ten years. <laughs> Show me a trailer, <laughs> then I'll believe it. <laughs> Damn, don't have a trailer. But apparently oh, on on Twitter on February twelfth on February eighth, two thousand twelve, he said, just cut off a fantastic call. Per the Young Blood movie, after three years of deal making, we are moving forward. Hashtag finally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll <laughs> see. Yeah, we shall see. Even if it does happen, and oh no, a really crappy comic is going to be made into a really crappy movie. And yes, <laughs> it will be a crappy movie because this concept <laughs> is already dumb. The characters are not characters, and. It's Liefeld attached to it. There you go. Uh, that's what I wanted to hear. <laughs> and that is the attack of the news. And we hop into another part of news of, of the podcast, known as the weird news, where I talk about the weirdest of weird news. First article. Dallas Guy discovers $2 million worth of comic collection in his basement. How much again? How much? Two million. Two million, I think you said. Two million. <laughs> Holy! In his, in his, yes. in his basement. What did he, yes. Would he keep his basement? He two, may, he now has a mansion-sized basement. Yeah, two million dollars worth of comics. Anyways, Why? the story goes that uh, Michael Rohrer. His great uncle was a Golden Age fan who, when he passed away, left 345 comics to his nephews. Uh, oh. Wow. Uh, one day while at work, Rohrer mentioned that one of his favorite comics was Cap Captain America number two, when in which Captain Dex Hitler, a buddy, replied that if he had ca action comics number one, the first appearance of Superman, that would really be something. And lo and behold. Rohrer did along with 44 of the Overstreet comic book price guide 100 guides 100 most valuable Golden Age comics. Ugh. <laughs> Anyways, they were up for auction, and they were so I don't even know how much they were sold for because this article was really old, and they were valued at at Action Comics number one was valued at 325,000, and uh, Detective Comics number 27, which was Batman's first appearances, was valued at 40, 475,000. Wow. That's brand and, new. And this kind of thing is happening all the yes. time. Yeah. <sighs> so, if you got any relative that was a fan of Golden Age comics or any other comics, and they pass away. They might be yours. <laughs> See, my grandfather oh, gave me a whole bunch of old uh, silver and gold age stuff uh, a while ago. It, most, it was mostly just Archie comics. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, man. Which, which actually kind of reminds me, there is actually a uh, comic app. I can't remember. I don't remember exactly what company does it because I'm actually going by memory. A friend of mine actually did a small review for it. A comic app for like the iPad, iPhone, and all that, and she has been downloading like tons of like the old Archie Sonic comics and all of that. Just and you get a first few of them, you get a few of them free, but then after it's like uh, a couple of dollars, I think, an issue or something like that. I don't remember the exact cost, but you know, if you're a Sonic fan and you like comic Sonic comics, go check it out. So you know, and no, I don't comic. want them. <laughs> <laughs> no, just and do not send him to Lewis. Yes. All right. Next weird news story. Uh, this ought to be interesting. Guy chained to comic shop won't leave until his comic sells out. Whoa. All right. Here we go. How do you say that again? Dedication. A guy chains himself to a comic book store without his comic selling. Let's wow. sink that in for a minute. All right, here we go. How do you sell your self-published comic starring a action hero version of Harry Houdini? Hmm. You chain you yourself, chain yourself? To, your, to a store? Why chain, <laughs> why chain yourself in front of your local comic book store and say you won't leave until your book sells out? Of course, great idea, until a fetish turns up. 
What about that? Wait, is that actually part of the story? No. Yes. Yeah, Wait, did you say the feds or the fetish? The fuzz. The feds. The the uh, I okay, heard fetishist. I'm like, wait, okay, what? It, it sounded like you said that the fetishists showed up. <laughs> I heard the same thing. <laughs> I was like, oh, 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 oh this is fetishes. real interesting. <laughs> Have a delight. <laughs> Poor enunciation is cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's exactly what Sean Von Gorman did outside of New York's Forbidden Planet. From 2 p.m. Till, until closing, Von Gorham shivered the night away, taking, talking with every comic fan and local who walked past, including the cops. And now I have science fiction double feature in my head. Thank <laughs> that, you. <laughs> that's right. Around 4 o'clock, please arrive on the scene asking if there have been any fights nearby. Unsus unsurprisingly, officers were quick to move citizens away and question Von Gorman. Luckily, a manager at Forbidden Planet, Jeff Ayers, quickly de defused the situation, saying later, a party ain't a party until the cops show up, indeed. <laughs> did, oh, man. Did Sean's pitch work? Did he sell every copy of The Secret Avengers of Houdini? No. Nothing sold. But the number of... I wonder why. But the number yeah. of... But the number of copies sold on the day rose dramatically, including online sales. It's hard to argue with that kind of marketing, especially in an industry that's growing and famous for its poor treatment of creators. Huh. I can argue with those results, because I wouldn't buy it if someone was chained up, because I imagine <laughs> they would just get bored and leave eventually. No, it's uh, like that one episode of The Simpsons where they're trying to protect the trees by chaining themselves to them, but they ended up running around in circles cutting down the trees in the process. <laughs> oh. <sighs> oh, and that man's name was Christian! Oh! Yeah, right. He was quoted as saying, I don't say name is Simpson, but whatever. <sighs> okay. Let me take, get a little breather. Okay. <clears throat> the last weird news stories. Weird new story is uh, titled "Geek Drug Lord Used Money He Made from Meth to Buy 18,753 Comics." Yeah, I heard about this one. Uh, oh. Apparently, he was apparently, yeah, apparently he was a drug dealer, but he now had a different addiction, and that was buying comic books. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ! Well, comics, my anti-drug. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Well, some people got to get their scratch some way. You know, some of us work at Walmart. Some of us drive trucks. Some of us sell meth. It's, yeah. And that's... a good chunk of us do shit on the Internet. Yeah, it says yes. here. Buying was like a drug, but what was more like a drug was the drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron Castro of Common City, Colorado, was arrested in August 2009 for his role as one of the leaders of a 41-person meth ring bringing as many as 100,000 doses of the drug per month into Colorado from Arizona. Uh. According to Dever Post, authorities seized about 100 boxes of first edition comic books sealed in plastic wrappers at the time of the arrest. <laughs> God. Oh, wow. Oh, oh my. That's a lot of meth. A lot of meth fish. <laughs> yeah. That's so much meth. Even people, even meth heads from my hometown are like, damn, I, I, I'm good. I'm good. I'm just going to go over here. I'm good. Yeah, I'm just going to go with the other boy. Oh, boy. Uh, let's see. So he was sent to 45 years in prison back in November, but the comics were... The comic books were back in the news this week after the U.S. Marshal Service auctioned them off online. So how much did they fetch? After 108 bids, they total cost to 125000 Wow. So don't do drugs, kids. Feed your comic book yes. addiction the legal way. Yes. <laughs> do random things on the Internet. It's fun. Indeed. <laughs> <sighs> All right, come to a close to the podcast here. We are going to end off with the most awesome top number list. And the, this top number list is 25 pickup lines to use on a female Doctor Who fan. This is going to be painful. 
Oh boy. How many of them are? Uh, are you want to see my sonic screwdriver? Wait. <laughs> let me read this. For the, uh, actually, none of them. Oh wow. Uh, there's one that involves a sonic screwdriver, but it's a little bit different in the wording. All right, let's see. Someone in the chat. Snowflake will sell your shiny tricorder to my comics. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's no. go through this. on the inside. <laughs> oh man. Okay, number twenty-five is. Did I mention it also time travels? Points at penis. <laughs> what? Uh, uh, oh, God. that one doesn't. That what? Wait, let me say that again. I kind of flubbed there. Number 25. Did I mention it also travels in time? Points at penis. <laughs> right. <laughs> um. That is freaking stupid. Next one. All right. Number 20. <laughs> number 24. I like to... I like the... Well, they word this wrong. I like to be the one to open your Pandorica. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow. <laughs> See, now that <laughs> one is a pickup line. It's a really lame one, but it actually makes sense. Yes. <sighs> and um, if anybody tries this on Lady Renee, I will laugh as, as, as she reacts to that. I don't know how she'll react, but she will react, and I will probably laugh. All right, where am I? Very much. <laughs> no, number 23, let me shout at your jammy dodger. Let me sh <laughs> let me shout at your jammy dodger. Shout at your jammy dodger. I don't even what? 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 No, no, that is not what you do when you are down there. You do not yell at vagina. <laughs> also, the doctor never yelled at the da at the jammy dodger. Wow. Oh God, uh, lack of watcher in the chat. Are you a centauran? Because I'd like to shoot you in the back. Oh, that's not on the list. <laughs> oh. That's that on the list. That's oh. a good one. <laughs> All right, uh, uh, where am I? Oh God, this. Oh boy, <laughs> number twenty-two. They call my penis the TARDIS. It's bigger when there it's in, inside. There we go. That one. That one makes sense. Other people already made that joke. Why <laughs> <laughs> yes. these are so good? Number number twenty-one. Oh, I went high pitch there. Number twenty-one. <laughs> Can I stick my fish fingers in your custard? No, you can't. Oh, snap. Oh, oh. <laughs> Another one that actually makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm like not saying you're say good. I'm just already saying already that, they, that some of these actually make sense, as, <laughs> even as Doctor Who references, or just, even just in common sense. It's just like, the Jamie Dodger one is still, is still just like, what? <laughs> You didn't yell at the What? You no, pretended no, the Jamie what? Dodger was a self-destruct button. not yelling at it. Yeah. What can we... Now, eat your Jamie Dodger. That'd be a whole different story. Yelling at it? No. All right. Okay. Okay. Number 20. If I were a Cyberman, I'd give you an upgrade. I see what they're going for, but it well that that's not very good. There is logic oh. in what he says. It's just just yeah. oh, no, this is just Okay. Number oh. nine Number nineteen. You know what they say about Time Lords with long scarves? <laughs> 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 I, oh, oh dear! I, I got, I got one for Davison. Is that celery in your pocket, or are you just happy to see me? Oh, oh, you're <laughs> you're 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 close, but there that's there's something related to that in in the upcoming one. Uh, all right. Anyway, that's, that's good. That's good. Uh, where am I? Eighteen. Come back to my place, and you call me the master. <laughs> <laughs> Little on uh, the nose. Mm -hmm. Oh god. Number 17 has included my uh, bad dialect impersonation. <clears throat> Inseminate. Inseminate. <laughs> yeah. Inseminate. Oh, wow. yeah. Oh, wow. That is, that is so... 
That is so original. Oh my god. It took me three seconds to think of that after watching a first my first Dalek episode. <laughs> Lame. Alright, sixteen. Yes. Alright, number sixteen. Girl, your butt is cute like a adipose baby. <laughs> no. Redneck doctor. Cute like fan. an adipose baby. All right, do you that, know? that sounds so very pedophilic. Alright, do you even know what an adipose is? Vaguely. I know what an adipose is. Just to clarify for those who don't know, a adipose is a hand-sized marshmallow-shaped being composed almost entirely of fat. And it was featured in the episode of Partners in Crime. Mm -hmm. Keep in mind, I'm only up to... Yeah, uh, I'm just kind of like... Dalek. Yeah. Okay, yeah. next one. Oh, here, oh, boy. Number 15. Geronimo! Say that slowly. That one's for work. Geronimo! <laughs> Lame! That is... Just... Just... No... Just no. <laughs> no. Well, you only laughed out fans. of bed for that. For the John Pertwee fans, care hey. to see my Hoomobile? Uh, good, <laughs> good, good one. That's not on the list, though. Uh, number 14. Want to come back to my place? You can play Dr. Donna. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? I got one. I got one. Are you K9? Because I want to do it doggy style. Oh, that's a that's a good one. Uh, uh, that wasn't uh, on the list. <laughs> that's the weird coming up with better ones than the actual list. I know it's weird. Thirteen. Let me see if I say this right. You're oodful. Oodful. I don't get oodful. Oodful. Or oodful. Oodful. Yeah, that that's not a very good. Who wrote this? <laughs> It's, it's actually written by a female. Well, <laughs> yeah. Uh, 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 uh. yeah. Okay, first I'm back. I, was I have to reboot to... my brain from that one. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I'm surprised no one has made a reference to the Candyman yet and his candy hand. Nope, it's not even on this list either. Oh. All right, let's see. Uh, number twelve. Are you a dialect? Cause you've been rolling through my mind all night. Uh, Dalek, not dialect. Good job, Mike. Like I said, poor enunciation is cool. I was wondering why you were saying uh, you had a bad dialect. Di dialect, or as the British say, dar dar dialect. Dalek. D a l e k. Dalek. dalek. I don't even no watch the show when I know it says it pronounced dalek. Dialect. <laughs> Oh, yeah, like, any, any I can't, I can't talk. Oh, I need to get this some sleep. Eat the Dalek, you'll know use with that pickup line. That was another really lame one. Next. Lovin', I think you're fantastic. I don't know what that is. I don't get it. Kind of simple, but okay. Yeah, that, right. that 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 can be applied more to just the doctor, you know, than Doctor Who here. Ah, uh. and now we reach into okay, the top. next. We're in the top ten now. <clears throat> oh, well, these are going to be the suckiest ones, right? Let's let's see if these are the good ones because the. <clears throat> All right, number ten. I won't blink, cause baby, you're a weeping angel. Uh, Why is she weeping? I. Uh. It's it's kind of there, but uh, but I think it, it, it calling her a weeping you angel. Said, well, she wasn't weeping though. You should have just said. Yeah. Weeping if you left out the weeping part, you say, "I won't blink, even though you're an angel." Oh, like yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. that That's works, good. Huh? There's a good pickup line in here somewhere, but it needs to be <laughs> We're rephrased. We're going to find it. All right, let's see. It's close though. It's getting there. Yeah. All right, number nine. I like to take you out for texting and scones. I don't begin to get it. Texting and scones. One more time. Scones like the British food to stone? I mean, the UK I, is the, the wait, thing from the UK? The, the planet Stonos. I like oh, okay. to... I like to take you out for texting and scones. Why is that funny? No, that's, they're talking about the food. It's got to be yeah, like why, reference I, in an episode yeah, but, or but something. I'm trying to make... 
trying to make the Doctor Who connection here. I mean, it's, it's, I don't remember. I have, there has to be like an episode where they quote about it's texting from the UK? and someday we'll find it. The Doctor Who connection. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay. Lace the, Lace the Watcher in the chat says, I hope you're a Silurian because I want you under me. Ah! Not on the list. See, nice one. See again, again, we're coming up with better ones than this one. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm, and I'm double checking to see if you guys have any reference to this. All right. Number eight, and this might be good or not. Hello, sweetie. Just hello. That's the only pickup line. Uh, hello, these sweetie. Are terrible. Wow. That's like it's just it's just that, a reference. That, it, that's not even that's not even like a pickup line. It's just it's just quoting River Song. Just hi, okay. hello, sweetie. It'd like, be better if really? you said, "Hi, hello, sweetie. We should fuck." <laughs> that would at least that would at least be a pickup line. Yeah. All right. This is number wow. s- num number seven. All right, I gotta act here. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I think both of my hearts just skipped a beat. Okay, that that's one. Better. That one's kind of good. That, yeah, that's not so bad. That's better. Not very. Not, you not like really like, all like, that like being great or funny, life. but it's it's better. <laughs> it makes sense. Yeah. All right. Number six. If I were the doctor, would you be my companion? Hmm. <laughs> eh. Eh. Yeah. Uh, and be at least, at least it's better than the, the texting and scones. <laughs> I, I, that, yeah. one was kinda, that one was actually kind of cute. All right, we're, it had nothing to do with the show. <laughs> all right, we are in the top five pickup Ooh, lines. Boy, 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 girl had a great one. Are you the girl who waited? Because I'm about to come for you. That's, <laughs> that's good right there. Again, <laughs> again. Not on the that list. Is coming up with better ones than the damn list. Not on the list. Yes. <laughs> uh, okay, number five. Procreate, procreate. Uh, again with That's the bad dog. Stupider. What? Seriously, I heard that in first uh. grade. Procreate, I don't, I don't what? Procreate. If it's bad enough, to add one Dalek. Da- Dalek catchphrase style one, but you have two on this list, both of them lame. And you put that oh. one that high? I guess so. Uh, oh, God damn. What was wrong with you? Next. All right. Number four, and I'm gonna might say this wrong, just so sue me. I hear oh, okay. you I hear you you're alone easy. Alose <laughs> I don't get it. Uh, it's a representing Alonzi. tenth doctor's uh, catchphrase of Alon Z. Yes. Oh. Alon Z, Alon Z. Alon Z. Yeah, I'm still on. I'm still on number nine. Alonzi. So. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. That was better. It was. It was better, but it's not like. But it's a really crappy pickup line because it, it's basically applying that the other that the other person uh, uh, is a certain word that I do not say. Yeah. All right, we're in the. T- here's the top three. Here we go. Number three. Is that a sonic screwdriver in your pocket, or are you just happy to see me? I knew it. I- <laughs> that one. At this, that point, at this point, that's, that, that's, that's probably the best they're getting right that now. One, didn't you? <laughs> okay, Cash of the Future came up with a great one. I'm about to reverse the polarity in my pants. <laughs> Not on the list. There you go. I oh, this list is flawed. All right, number two, and list. and number two, just you're gonna grow at this one, maybe I don't know. That point, saw that one coming. I am prepared. Number two, you give me torchwood. Oh, <laughs> why? Who let Captain Jack write this list? Oh my god. Oh. Yeah, you know. You know, after all the craft woods, I'll take it. <laughs> after Hello <laughs> Sweetie. <laughs> all right. We have come down. Here we are. We are at number one. The number one pickup line to use on a female Doctor Who fan. 
Come back to my place so we can have some... Why... Ah, damn it! I missed up. Come back to my place so we can have some wibbly wobbly timey wimey. Huh? But, get, get I was the, seriously their number one. Sucked. No, <laughs> number one. Wow. That, that sounds like it's. That sounds like a thought that was, that still needs to be completed. Come back. Uh, you couldn't say it had stuck. Like seven out of eight notes in a scale in front of the musician. It'll drive them nuts. That's what it's doing to me. Ah. No. Yeah. At least. At least it's a reference. But seriously, that was your best. <laughs> it's like. Oh. Uh. <laughs> These lines, God. these lines are guaranteed to at least make that geek girl giggle a little. No, they're not. Hmm? What? Oh, no, no, they're, they're really not. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. God. Oh. oh, that was awful. This yeah. sucks. <laughs> Any um, least favorite favorites? You know, I still have the ultimate pickup line because Douglas Adams invented it, and it's and it's the best one ever. It, mind you, it's not really a Doctor Who reference, but it's science fiction. Mm-hmm. Okay. Always know. Hey, baby, <laughs> I'm from another planet. You want to go away with me? I have a second head. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I just get it. Oh. That works. Yeah. I... Hey, Checker's Guide to the Galaxy, and it works. And it turned out he was from yep. another planet. <laughs> Oh my god, okay. That is the top 25 pickup lines to use on a female Doctor Who fan. Oh, that's the bottom 25. <laughs> these... I know, right? Ah! Uh, that were god awful. Oh, that, was, that wasn't even like like fun in a good kind of way, because you know, you know, we all made the sonic screwdriver joke already, but come on. I'm still stuck on texting and scones. <laughs> I'm still stuck on Hello Sweet. Uh, really? Even even uh, if it's a reference to an episode, it's not like it's like some big well-known kind of thing that people repeat often at conventions or something. It's just like <laughs> what? It's like, eh. Lucy, yeah. why is Charlie Brown banging his head against that tree? <laughs> <sighs> oh. Good girl. Here's here's the reference for uh, scones and texting. Uh, Amy Pond wanted to ask Rory Williams out for texting and scones from the episode of The Wedding of River Song. That's terrible. Uh, wow. That's just... You know, I love that episode, uh, and even I, I don't remember that. I like the episode, but... Yeah. I was like... Uh. You may have to send this to Nash. Name! <laughs> and... Name. Oh, well, Bat Boy EXE has got has got one. Ki- I modify it a bit. You turn my sonic screwdriver on. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go again. Why am I better at this? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh yes. Now this. It's time to close the podcast. So this has been a tech of the awesome. And there I'm was your... no awesome to be found in that list. Yes, it wasn't. That's like the lame, 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 lame. But at Attack of the Ozone... Hi, I'm the Doctor. You're Rose Tyler. I want you to ruin me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's oh, just me. <laughs> Watcher's coming out with some great ones tonight. Wow, okay. Oh, my God, okay. We're going to close. I know, I'm trying to close, but you guys right? are making me laugh. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Fine, I'll do it. This is the Rosen Hacker, and with with our guests, or with our special co-host, Pugsley. Hi. Say goodbye, sweetie. Bad people. Gomer. Yo, people. Live long, be prosperous, and stuff. Don't use those pickup lines. <laughs> and he's most likely comatose with your mic. <laughs> yeah, goodbye. And of course, we'd like to thank our special guest of Awesome Link, Kara. There's another one here in the <laughs> chat, which 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 still which is another play on the theme of of the Dalek catchphrase, but it's still better. Experminate. <laughs> it's still better. It is still yes. so much yes. better. Yes. <laughs> 
You've been uh, attacked by the awesome. <laughs>